Hey, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Today, you're gonna learn how to do the Dream Shake just like Chris Tapp Porzingis did just the other night. All right, so I know Hakeem Olajuwon is the original master of the Dream Shake, but Chris Tapp had one a couple weeks ago that a lot of people wanted me to break down. So I wanted to make sure that you can add this move to your game. So it really doesn't matter if you're a guard, a forward, or a post. If you can add these simple keys to the move, you'll be able to do it inside of a game, no problem. All right, so this move works best in the post or in the mid post, but you don't have to be a post player to use it because odds are whoever's guarding you is probably about your same size. All right, so this move starts with your back to the basket and it could be off of a back down dribble or just catching off of some sort of cut. So when you're ready to begin the move, all you have to do is pick the ball up and then shift your shoulders and the ball towards the middle of the floor. You'll notice that this twisty movement makes it look like you're turning towards the middle of the floor, so your defender's probably gonna slide their feet to beat you to the spot. From here, all you have to do is execute a front pivot on your outside foot to get that space from the defender as they're moving in the opposite direction. And then from there, you just have to knock down the shot. Now to be able to hit the shot, there's really two important keys. The first key is to find the target early. A lot of people will execute this move and they'll find the rim really, really late in their jump shot and then they don't get to aim at it very long. So the earlier you get your eyes on target coming out of that spin, the more accurate you're gonna be. And the second key to help you hit the shot is to make sure that you shoot a slight fade away. The odds are that you're not gonna completely shake the defender, get a wide open jumper. So by fading away just slightly, you can ensure that you can get the shot off easily without them challenging or blocking your shot. All right, if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button down below, and then go to the comment section and let me know what sort of move you want to see broken down next. Again, this is channel for the people, by the people. I run pretty much everything off of requests, so leave them down there, and I'll probably get to it. And if you're new to shot mechanics in the Splash Army, you're going to want to do two things. Number one, you're going to want to hit that subscription button down below, because we put out a ton of videos every week, and they're all going to get you better. Number two, you're going to want to click this button up here, or the link in the description to get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's going to work on everything that you need to be a scoring monster, um, and so I highly I highly recommend that you check that out and it's 100% free. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, splash on.